The next thing we will add the shape files. If I take this line here, it's going to tell me this is an error telling me that this uh, shape file doesn't have a special reference. So in order to fix this error, I'm going to close this. I'm going to delete this one from here. I'm going to go back to our catalog. In order to fix this, we need to set up the, the spatial reference for the polygon shape file, the point, and the line. Let's start by the line. We're going to say go to properties. We're going to select the same spatial reference we chose last time, which is WGS 1984 World Mercator. We're going to select OK. So this now this one have uh, the spatial reference right, similar to the feature classes. We're going to do the same for the point. And instead of choosing from here, this one method I prefer is to come here and do this drop down and select import. And this way, we're going to import the spatial reference from another data that exists already. We can take it from the J database or we can take it from the shape file. So when I select this one, what happening here is this point can have the same spatial reference as this line. It add. And you can see that we have the WGS1984 World Mercator. OK. And then we're going to do the same for the polygon. Import. Take the line. OK. OK. Now we have the special reference for the shape file is right. We go back to ArcMap. And we add our shape files. This time, we're not going to see the same error as we did it last time. Point and polygon. And because this data we created, it's empty, we are not seeing anything on the map yet. So let's create another group layer and call it shape files. The way you edit the name here is you click F2, you press F2 on, on your keyboard, or you just click on it one click, and it's going to give you the ability to rename it. And we're going to cable it shape files. And we're going to put the shape files inside. And, and the multi-selection is you uh, press the uh, control and you hold the control on your keyboard and you select each one of them. And then you can drag and drop them under files. Now we have two group layers, one feature classes and one chip files. Uh, at the end of this video, I want to thank you so much for having the time to watch the video. If you are interested to learn more about ArcGIS products, please go to arcgismastery.com and you will see that we have a lot of selection for online training courses, starting by ArcGIS Desktop and another products like ArcGIS Online, ArcGIS Pro, ArcGIS Enterprise, and so many more. We also have coming courses that you can subscribe to and enroll right now and get a 50% discount. And we will appreciate it if you leave a comment below and let us know what exactly you need to see in this course so we include it in the course for you. And lastly, I will encourage you so much to subscribe to our monthly updates so you can stay updated with what is redo. At the end, I wish you all the best and thank you so much for watching this video.